Hello and welcome to your March 2022 general reading. This is for the sign of Gemini. You are watching Thomas's tarot page. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. So what we will do in this video, we will look at the overall energy as it presents itself to you in the month of March 2022 for the sign of Gemini before we then go into your emotional core and look what's happening <clears throat> in your in the world of your emotions. Maybe there's trauma that needs to leave, maybe there's love coming in, all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> before we then lastly go into opportunities um, and how um, they can be manifested or present themselves to you in the month of March 2022. Now, speaking of March, March is literally the month of Pisces. And Pisces is governed by Neptune. Neptune is the planet that is whose job it is to bring about spiritual awareness and awakenings. So this is a month where your emotions are heightened, if that makes sense, and where the universe literally is asking you to um, pay attention to how you truly feel. That is the energy that all star signs <laughs> have to contend with. Now let's have a look um, what's going on for Gemini. Right, as the overall energy. Yes, quite simple. Gemini's, you have the sacred tree. Look at this. What the guides are saying to you is, the one thing you need to understand this month is that you are connected and that you are part of a tribe because as the sign of Gemini, you're also oftentimes uh, called the twins. And so Gemini, in the depiction, has a twin, right? But therefore, Geminis, you may feel, where's my twin? Where's the person that I, will, I can always count on, right? So sometimes when you have a, a low esteem moment, it's because you, you have no one else saying to you like, yeah, you got this, <laughs> right? So that's how it feels. Um, just remember this, um, you, because you have the sacred tree and it's all about connectivity, right? They're asking you to understand this month's spending all the time alone is also an issue that you bring upon yourself, even if it is a more natural way of living for the sign of Gemini, right? They're asking you this month to be a bit more social, if possible, and go places, even if you just have a coffee on your own, <laughs> but in the vicinity, vicinity of people, right? If that makes sense. So they're asking you to reconnect to your brethren, <laughs> so to speak, uh, because you have the sacred tree, and the sacred tree is literally uh, saying to you, like, don't hide. Don't hide your feelings, don't hide who you truly are, don't hide yourself. Um, in the month of March, they're asking you to be out there, right? And understand that you are part of a bigger thing here, and it is time that you looked at it again. No more time for procrastinating and hiding away. That was the overall energy for the sign of Gemini. Now we're going into your emotions. Let's have a look what we got for you emotionally. And you have the heron and the dolphin. Okay, with regards to your emotion, the heron is basically a bird that stands in the water all day and when a fish comes, he goes, thank you. Right? So what they're saying is with regards to your emotions, you cannot force how you feel. You cannot force relationships to blossom when they're not ready. You can't force anything, <laughs> really. And all they're saying is, because the heron is, is associated with feminine energy, that is not just for you uh, female Geminis, it's understanding that feminine energy is all about love, which is the highest energy we can create. And we are looking at your emotional uh, emotions here. So this is about understanding if you are in a relationship, it has to be super loving for you to make it work. But because you have the heron, it goes like when the fish comes, I just grab it. Remember, you cannot force anything. If there are changes to be made, you literally have to tell people that it's time these changes are being made. Otherwise, there will be consequences because you're already affected by what's happening. <clears throat> um, and then um, leave them to it. Because you have the outgoing energy for your emotions is the dolphin. And the dolphin, again, is, is about feminine energy. So this is all about you as a <clears throat> softer person. Okay, this sounds really weird. When you look at the divine masculine and the divine feminine, every being 
has both. And we all need both because both of them have, have a lot of pros and cons. When you take the divine masculine out and you're left with the divine feminine, you are left with a very emotional sign uh, of uh, energy, cluster of energies. Um, <clears throat> but because emotions take time to be processed, that's what makes you the most and the more understanding of the, the genders, if that makes sense. You're, you're, you're not as compulsive. Um, and you don't have to, 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 to battle this fucking testosterone thing that, that uh, a lot of blokes still have to battle with. Right? Anyway, what the guides are saying to you with regards to your emotion. At all time, embrace life, right? But you also inside any relationships that you're trying to manifest <clears throat> or that you're actually in, you need space. Make sure you have enough space because you have the dolphin. The dolphin is looked at as, oh my God, he's always happy. That's because he has not enough muscles in his face to actually change expression when he's not super happy. So you are sometimes in relationships, it takes you a long time before you actually say, this doesn't sit right, right? So just understand that, Gemini, that you have the tendency to um, observe things. Right? But because you're the Gemini, which is the twin, and they talked about the um, divine feminine, which is both the heron and the dolphin, which means your emotions are literally, literally um, governed and ruled this month by just feminine energy. Right? Emotions. How do I feel this? How do I go about this? Right? Which is not a bad thing, but the divine masculine has to come in here somehow. All they're saying is, <clears throat> excuse me, make sure that you understand how important you are in the scheme of things and that another person or any other person or situation doesn't necessarily or isn't necessarily here to make you feel happier because happiness is an inside job, right? So that was... Um, the emotional core for Gemini. Now we're going quickly into the opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of March 2022. You are watching Thomas's Tower page. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. And please, please, please hit that like button. I can't talk, like button. And, um, and share, right? With regards to emotions, sorry, rewind. With regards to opportunities, you have the golden eagle. And what the golden eagle is saying to you, don't wait for opportunities to come to you. Right? Don't ask the question, what am I supposed to do? Because then the universe is saying, you have free will. We can't tell you. When you say, help, that's when they can help show you what you're thriving at, at this point in time. But don't ask for your purpose, if that makes sense. Because sometimes when we want to know what our purpose is, and if we, are, if we were told what the purpose is, which actually can be told in your birth chart, you have the, the North Node when it comes in. For the most part, it will tell you why you're here. But it can be underwhelming to know it because it also uh, stops you from looking elsewhere and maybe exploring other stuff because you're so multifaceted. Uh, you know, faceted. I said it. <laughs> can't speak today. Anyway, all the guides are saying to you, you have the golden eagle with regards to your opportunities. Opportunities are coming your way, but you need to just look at them and go like, yeah, that's me. I'm going to do that. Right? Literally take the bulls by the horn, throw yourself in there, be out there again, if that makes sense, um, and be proactive because that's what is important in the March of months. In the months of March. Can't talk. In the months of March for Gemini is to be proactive. You're going through shit. I get that. Most star signs are. Most people are. It's just the way things work, right? Um, all they're saying to you is your biggest asset is yourself, right? And if you are, if you understand that, that people want to hang with you, right? Your energy is great. Then you know all you need to create is a place where everybody, especially you as a Gemini, um, having that missing twin, 
um, are welcome and is welcome too. Right? That's all we got. See you all next time. Bye-bye.